What's happening, people? Jimmy from UK Chicago Bulls here. I'm in my Benny t-shirt tonight. And my Benny hat. Awesome hat. Shout out to Eric, who sent me this hat, amongst many other awesome things. I'm wearing this because it feels... Like I'm hurting from last night. Last night was painful, man. I know we only had an 8.5% chance of getting a top four pick and therefore keeping our pick going into this draft this off-season. And it didn't happen. We landed at 11, which was the most likely outcome. And it hurts. It hurts. And I'm wearing this because it feels like Benny is like all we got. It's like the best mascot, right? The best mascot in all of sports, in all of history. Not just the NBA, everywhere. And I'm just like, oh man, I've been I've been suffering today. I'm sure many have. I know it was a long shot last night, but we had to have hope, right? That's, you know. And it didn't happen. And that Vooch trade just looks horrendous. And the majority of people out there are laughing at us. But me personally, at that time, I still make that trade. We were in win now. I still make that trade. And I may get laughed at for saying that, but I remember how excited I was when we made the trade. AK was aggressive. Brilliant. But now, looking back, oh man, that was a terrible trade. It just was. You take risks, you win some, you lose some, right? We lost this one badly. Where do we go from here? Because I don't know what the front office are going to do. Now, the rumours are coming out that there's a lot of people in the front office that want to run it back and wait for Lonzo to come back. And Listen, if Lonzo was coming back, or we believe Lonzo was coming back early in the season... Even a couple of months into the season, I would kind of understand it because I do think if you listen to my podcast or watch the No Ball Show, you will know how highly I rate Lonzo and how important I believe he was to this team, is to this team, who knows. So if Lonzo was coming back, I get it. And I would say, do you know what? Yeah, why not? Because I do think Lonzo changes a lot and, and we've shown what we can do, right? When we're when we play. This team is is very good. But when we don't, it's bad. So how can you go from losing to the Wizards, a shorthanded Wizards with half of their roster missing, and then you go and beat a fully healthy Golden State Warriors like in the same week, I think it was, maybe like in the same fortnight, who knows? But that that was how inconsistent this Bulls team was this year. Crazy. So yes, Lonzo Ball, I still believe, would make a huge difference. But when is he coming back? We don't know. Nobody knows. The, the, the specialists that have been studying this sort of stuff all their lives do not know because they don't know what the issue is. So we cannot rely on that. Now, I will say it again, the most important thing is Lonzo Ball to get healthy for himself so he can live a pain-free, healthy life. Basketball comes second. There's more to life than basketball, okay? As a fan, of course, we want him back. We want him on the court. We want him playing for our team, doing what he does best, what we've seen him do. But we don't know when that's going to be. So first and foremost, hopefully Lonzo gets healthy and can live a normal life. And, of course, I hope he does play again, whether it's for the Bulls or someone else in, in a couple of years' time. Who knows? But that's beside the point. We don't know when he's coming back. So we cannot surely run this team back next season. The definition of stupid, do the same thing over and over and over again and just hope for different results. We can't, We cannot do it. What are they going to do? Are they going to tank, just blow everything up, get rid of everything and tank? If we do that and we land in the top 10 next year, we keep our pick. Our pick is top 10 protected if we get land outside the top 10, it goes to the San Antonio Spurs. And probably Wemby after last night. 
if we blow it up, we've got a better chance of getting in that top 10. We also have our first round pick of 2025. And so on and so on. We don't have a second round pick. That's fine. I keep changing my mind. Right now, I am in the what the hell, let's blow it up camp. Let's get what we can for Zach. Okay, Zach's a very solid player. We could get a haul back for him. Get what we can for DeMar. DeMar can go to a win now team. There's another year left on that contract. Vooch, out of contract, of course. See if we can sign and trade Vooch. Maybe we can't. We have to try, right? This is what I'm this is what I would do right now. Tomorrow my mind might change because I keep going backwards and forwards. Trade Zach for everything we can. Trade DeMar for everything we can to a contender. Sign and trade Vooch for everything we can. Pick up Kobe. Pick up Io. Keep Caruso. He can be the mentor. He may not want to. And I would respect that. Everyone knows how much I love Caruso. I would love to get all the young guys, get young guys in for the players I just mentioned and just let them develop. And I know it could potentially be a very, very painful couple of years. But we've waited this long, right? We've had some hellish seasons before, before we made the playoffs last season. There were some awful years and I know it wasn't fun and I don't particularly want to go through all that again. But what's the alternative? We have another season like we just did where one minute we look like the 90s balls and the next minute we look like the current Houston Rockets who actually beat us. <sighs> I wasn't going to have a beer tonight. I am, because well, you know why, right? I am so down right now on the direction of this team. Matt Peck put a great tweet out earlier and said, Matt Peck from CHGO, by the way, and said the only benefit from this result from the draft lottery last night is the front office cannot hide away or be <laughs> how do I how do they put this they haven't got lucky in the draft so this season has been a failure which it was regardless right the season was a failure if we had got a top four pick they've kind of got a bit of a get out they haven't got that now so they cannot shy away from that I put that terribly I'm sorry I should have memorized Matt's tweet because he put it much better than I just did but you get what I'm saying so the front office have to take accountability for this. They cannot run it back, in my opinion. That would be absolutely idiotic. We've got no cap space, providing we sign the players we're expecting to sign. Maybe we don't sign them. Who knows at this stage? We've got no cap space. We're not exactly an attractive market for free agents, even if we did or do have cap space. I don't see another way. Listen, I would love nothing more than to do uh, a rebuild on the fly where we can just add a couple of bits, maybe trade away Zach or Demar. I think one of them has to be traded. I think that's the, uh, the opinion of the majority of Bulls Nation. But we're not an attractive organization for free agents to come to we ju we're just not at the moment we we've been horrendous we oh man it is so tough i i hate i hate tanking i hate everything about tanking and i hate watching my team lose and even if we when we were tanking when i watched i wanted them to win i just can't help that that's just who i am i hate losing so the it's going to be so hard if they go down that route. I I don't actually believe that uh, Arturus Karnaschovas and Mark Eversley will go down that route. I don't believe they will. But if they do, and I think it's probably for the best, I think, it's going to be very painful to watch. 
and knowing that we, we want our t we need our team to lose. It's just horrible. It doesn't sit well with me. But I think that's what I would do if I was in the front office right now. Just shop Zach, shop Demar, try and get Vooch on a sign and trade and just hope for the absolute best. I have no idea what next year's draft class is uh, projected to be like. Absolutely no idea whatsoever. But we could potentially keep our own pick if it lands in the top 10. And then the following year as well. We've got the chance to get two really solid picks if the draft class is, is anywhere near as good as this season's projected to be. That was That's what I would do. And jump in the comments. If you disagree absolutely fine i respect anyone's opinion i may wake up tomorrow and have a different opinion on it i'm, I'm yeah if people that know me know how passionate i get and i'm either really high or really low i'm never in between right now i'm down here somewhere I'm pretty low so yeah it sucks but let's see what ak and mark eversley do i i think we all have to I mean, we've got no choice, right? We have to trust them. Uh, that that may get laughed at. But what are our other options? We don't have any. They gave AK a secret contract extension. They also gave, obviously, Billy Donovan a secret contract extension. So all these coaches that have made the playoffs and had some of them have had pretty solid playoff runs getting sacked. Billy Donovan's going nowhere. And last season was horrendous. Even without Lonzo Ball, that team was better than a 10th seed in the East. It just was. But obviously it wasn't, but it should have been. On paper, it should have been. And I, I'm not saying all of that down, was down to coaching. A lot of it was down to the, the players. Absolutely have to hold their hands up. And the roster construction, of course, as well. So AK and Mark have to hold their hands up. But a lot of the time, the coaching was god-awful. And I am far from an NBA coach. I'm not far from a, a toddler basketball coach. I don't do all that sort of stuff. And I never pretend to be that. But I think at times I probably could have done a better job than Billy did at certain times last year. And that's probably crazy and it's probably false. But that's how I feel about certain games, calls, plays out of timeouts, not calling timeouts, not challenging certain plays, and so on and so on. But Billy's not going anywhere. So we're just going to have to get used to that. And neither is AK. So yeah, that that's it. I don't think this has helped anyone, probably. Just airing out therapy session for me if nobody else i i needed this beer and i needed to talk and quite frankly my other half has no interest and if i ranted on like this to her she probably would have been asleep about 10 seconds in some of you may have done the same i apologize if that's the case unless you're suffering from insomnia then you're welcome one final thing giveaway over on twitter I am giving away this awesome green release tea. Men's large. Embrace your difference. Own your weird. Love yourself. And on the back, be like Dennis. Dennis Rodman, awesome tea. Great design by Shugs at the green release. And believe me, the quality of these teas is next level. Seriously. I want to keep that as a spare because I've got that t-shirt, but I promised, and the reason I bought it was to do a giveaway and I promised I would. So that's being given away. Along with this awesome Bulls cap, Mitchell and Ness Bulls cap, which I have in my collection. There's my one. But this one is going to be given away with that T and two Fan Jam mini towels, all the way from Chicago. I was given those by the great people at the Bulls when I was over there in December. And a poster, a Fan Jam Chicago Bulls poster, which was also given to me by 
the great people at the Bulls. That's the giveaway. Jump over to Twitter. All you've got to do is follow me, retweet, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Do all of those things. The draw will be this Friday, 19th of May, 2023. Do all of those things. I'm going to close the entries at 7, draw a winner an hour or two later. And yeah, good luck to everyone if you do enter. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end of this, well done. I mean, I'm just ranting. I'm just letting off steam. Hopefully I'll wake up a bit more uh, positive tomorrow. Oh man, this hurts. Anyway, until next time, go balls.